same time, I see that uh, there are many uh, people who are uh, thronging their ways, who are just uh, giving the puja to the God man. So, uh, I, uh, once I feel that though, why those people are like uh, doing a puja of him, but second times I thought how powerful and how intelligent that God man is, he is able to convince that I am a God. So, that is also an intelligence. So, is this a country where the people are so foolish that they are following just a person and uh, not, not saying a word of foolish, but uh, is there following a person and treating him like a god or is that godman so intelligent that he is able to convince them? See, uh, this word godman is a media invented word. There is nobody anywhere I have seen who claimed I am a godman. I have seen men and I have seen goddamn men. I have not seen a God-man anywhere. Have you seen a God-man anywhere? Hello, anybody? No. Somebody is sitting there, somebody else. Right now, uh, to Malviya ji, we garland him. Well, is he a God? No, he did something that we revere. He did something that we value. So we offer our respects to him by putting a mala. Oh, you put garland on him, so you made a deity of him. Yes. Because the man did something in his life which we all benefit and value, so we bow down to him. <laughs> so this… see there is… there is logic of various levels, don't think there's only one logic. There is rudimentary logic, there is little high above, there is very fine logic also. Now, people who worship looking up, saying there is our God is up there and that looks okay to you because first of all, this whole Uparwala business, <laughs> first thing you… are you on a round planet? Huh? You sure? Okay. Planet is round and the thing is spinning all the time. If you look up, inevitably you are looking up in the wrong direction. You are not even on the North Pole, you are in Kashi. You are like this, looking up in the wrong direction all the time, all three hundred sixty degrees. So, do you know in this cosmos, which side is up? Is it marked somewhere, this side up? No. So you don't even know which side is up, but you know who is up. I think that's very stupid. So, in this culture we taught you that. Today this modern science also, I want you to understand this. Whether you take an atom or a cosmos or the cosmos, over ninety-nine point nine nine nine, whatever number of nines, is actually empty. Only little bit material in the atom, you know this? What… what is your subject, I'm sorry? Law. Oh. <laughs> you could argue for all the wrong things. That is what I want to do. <laughs> it, anyway, this is science. <laughs> that. <laughs> Over ninety-nine percent, ninety-nine point nine some eleven times or fourteen times something, I don't know the exact number, that much of the atom is empty space. Only little bit is material, tiny, minuscule. In the minuscule, it's minuscule. The same is true with the cosmos also has similar proportions. Over ninety-nine percent is empty space. Only specks of stars and planets and galaxies, only small specks. Rest is all empty space. But this empty space seems to have some intelligence of its own that it keeps all this physical material going around in a certain way. Because how much ever we study, we see that the physical material itself doesn't carry the needed intelligence, something else is driving it, obviously. So the simplistic, childish way of coming to it is, there is one man sitting up there and managing everything. But when you look at the size of the cosmos, one man managing things is… just naturally goes. Women are today arguing, why can't it be a woman? <laughs> yes? <laughs> I was speaking to a group of people in Nashville in United States. I was just telling them a joke 
In the joke, I refer to God as he. Immediately lady stood up <laughs> said, do you believe God is a man? Whoa, 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 I know what I gotten into <laughs> I said, see, I was only telling you a joke. It doesn't matter, you said him. Now in United States is a big argument, why can't God be a woman? They tried to settle it in the previous election. But you know the results <laughs> Then uh, there are also arguments like this, see <coughs> you've heard of Idi Amin, Idi Amin, the Uganda man. Idi Amin declared, God is black. I agree with him because if a white man can have a white God, why can't a black man have a black God? So in the southern churches in United States, the big debate happening is God, white or black, actual debates happening. You know, in the previous election, they tried to settle that affair, <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> but, you know, we in India know God is brown <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, those people don't know. Because to those places, God sent only his messenger, son or somebody else and somebody else. Here, God himself arrived nine times <laughs> Now, 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 especially Indians who are living outside the country are super proud about this. God came to our country nine times <laughs> So I keep reminding them that is because God wouldn't trust anybody else with Indians. He knew, he knew his son, his messenger, nobody would be good for the Indians. So he came hands-on himself, nine times and he failed. See, nine or ten times you can debate, failure is not debatable, isn't it? It's visible. Hello? Failure is very visible, isn't it so? So, we can go on endlessly with these things. But your belief systems are culturally relevant, existentially not relevant. So you must understand this is a godless culture. Here, we revered people who contributed to our life. Our parents, we bow down to them. If you see… if you Shiva comes also, this is what you do, is it? Isn't it so? If you see a tree also, this is what we do. If you see cow also, this is what we do. Even a snake. A cow gave us milk, so we bow down. A snake, because he didn't bite us today, we bow down <laughs> I'm saying, we are doing the same act what we do to God, to man, woman, child, animal, everybody, isn't it so? Then why are you calling a particular man God-man? Huh? We are bowing down to everybody, aren't we? <laughs>